The scientific evidence for global warming has been known for almost a century. And yet we, the academic community, have failed to avert the climate crisis. Which makes me wonder, what is our role in addressing the climate crisis? Do we have a responsibility to get involved in climate activism? I know many colleagues feel uncomfortable about the activistic stance. Most climate scientists feel that the ethical way to engage and interact with society is to provide the data but refrain from promoting certain policies. Others state that it is near impossible for academics to refrain at all from advocacy. Even the act of submitting a competitive grant proposal could be seen as activistic, since the outcome is for tax money to be steered towards their own research projects, necessarily then diverting funds away from others. The question is, does engaging activistically hurt the credibility and trust of climate scientists? You may intuitively think it does, since activism essentially means choosing sides. But there is empirical evidence that it doesn't need to be that way. In fact, the public may even expect climate scientists to be activistic. An experiment in 2017 assessed how people rated the credibility of a climate scientist statement in a press release. They found that the credibility at 5.2 on a scale from 1 to 7 was independent of the amount of activism that the climate scientists put in their press releases. Whether the climate scientists only talked about the results of a latest study or called for specific policies to reduce carbon emission. Moreover, a 2020 survey of German and US citizens found that the majority support policy advocacy by climate researchers and expect political engagement. My interpretation of this is that society funds academics to be warners, the proverbial canaries in the coal mine. Whether we call it academic activism or not, I like to think that the public expects me and my fellow climate scientists to scream as loud as we can if we see anything in our data that society should be alarmed about and communicate about it as effectively as possible to activate as many people as we can to protect and restore what we most cherish. I stand up for the ocean because I love standing on a clean beach, admiring the magnificent sunsets the raw power of the waves, the dolphins, the whales, the turtles, and the cute clownfish that inhabit this giant body of water that connects us all. I care about the ocean's future, our future. So my question to you is, how should we, as academics, respond to the climate crisis and the many other challenges society is faced with? How do you see your role as an academic in society?